Okay, now that I have my program loaded on the control, I'm gonna go ahead and set up and run this job. You can see on my upper tool clamp, I actually have a scale. So that's showing me the location on the machine relative to the position that the program is calling out for me. That's gonna tell me where to put my tool stations for this job. So I'm just gonna step over and grab my tools, come back, pop them into position, and then I'm gonna use the scale to locate exactly where on the machine I want these to be. It's like about there. It's going to be about there. All right. And you belong right about there. Now I'm going to come back with my Allen key and lock those upper tools in place. As I mentioned before, this is a self-seeding, self-aligning tool system. So even though I'm manually locking these tools down using a wrench, when the clamping system tightens, these tools are automatically pulled up into the tool clamp, aligned to each other and seated so that you don't have to do any kind of seating stroke before you start bending. Lock the tools down and you're ready to run. On these machines, we use precision segmented tooling. So our tool sets consist of smaller segments. So you can build up the lengths that you need for the bends that you're trying to make. Also it does a heck of a job of saving your operators back instead of having to load 10 foot sections of tooling into a 10 foot brake, just to bend a four inch wide flange. The upper tools here also do include quick release clips or safety tanks. So you can see these little spring-loaded clips allow me to load the tools vertically and just leave them hanging loose until I'm ready to tighten them down. All right, now I'm gonna grab my lower dies and repeat the process. The lower dies, I'm just aligning off of my punches. And then again, once I have them lined up where I want, I can lock them down. Now, depending on what you're bending, if you need to be very precise about the alignment of these, maybe you have a flange that's gonna scissor when you bend it and it's gotta be exactly accurate, you can run the ram down, loosen your tools up, and then use a straight edge to make sure that they're perfectly square. Now, I know this part I'm getting ready to bend, we can be off a little bit this way and it won't hurt the part at all. So I'm not too worried about the alignment. By eye should be close enough for this job. Okay, we got all our bending tools nicely locked inside the machine. Now I can use the operator pedal to start the hydraulics on the press brake. Go over to my machine control, switch from the tool setup screen to my automatic run screen and hit cycle start. Now the other step that I would have to take at this point is to set the safety system, the send and receive units at each end of the machine to the height of the tool. As the operator, I always know with trump tooling where to set my safety system because we print the working height right on the front of the tool. In this case, I had the safety system preset to 120 millimeter tools, so I'm ready to start bending now. Now, because this part was programmed offline, I have the luxury of being able to reference my 3D control to see where I'm supposed to place it. And then I just use the operator pedestal to trigger the machine stroke. Now our operator pedestal also includes an emergency stop function. So in the event that I start to slip, and I wanted to show you this here, if I don't catch the back gauge and my part slips underneath, your weight is gonna carry you on to the down pedal if you're already prepared to run. That could be a risky situation, but on our machines, that's actually a dead stop. So if I step really hard on the down pedal, it'll actually emergency stop the machine. That's to protect me if I start to fall into the press brake. Here I'm actually bending two flanges across two stations. So just give the part a little wiggle to make sure I'm lined up on both sides. And then the same thing again here. And I'll give you guys a live demonstration of how that safety system works. 
Huh? Pretty slick, huh? Don't just take my word for it. Okay, now these guys go in between, and this is where I have a little bit of a box bend. So I gotta be paying attention to how I bring the ram down. And you see my flanges go right in between the tools there. And I'll do the same thing here. Just gonna run the ram down close. And I'm gonna eyeball it carefully to make sure my box flanges go in between the tool stations. Beauteous. Okay, final bend. Okay, and we've got our six bend mounting gusset finished and ready to run.